All right, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy White Album here. Welcome back to some more Tsukihime, a piece of Blue Glass Moon. Uh, I do apologize for not uploading this in about nearly, what, two weeks? I, 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 that's completely my fault. You know, I had other things happening too, and you know, I was trying to prioritize MK a little bit more, especially with uh, especially with uh, some new characters dropping. Um, but that doesn't give me the excuse to not upload what is currently one of my favorite visual novels, uh, the only favorite visual novel because again you already know i'm not the biggest fan of visual novels but i love me some hime and i love me some holy knight i've been having a blast with i had a blast with holy knight and i'm having a blast with this game but um i will uh, tell you guys that your boy does have a job now so i'm trying to find a nice little uh routine rhythm to where you know after i get off work uh you know i could um you know there's things i want to do before i start recording so try to get those done that i can record edit upload and hey we're all set also as you can see your boys rocking a brand new little uh camera set or style i guess you can say uh the only thing i did was turn off my uh, my chroma key uh because i don't know if you could tell here like on the side here you can see like a little shadow and on the camera that it picked it up really weird on the camera i just didn't like that so decided to turn that off let's see let me move nope too far let me see if i can put myself down in the middle there we go <laughs> so now you see now you just see my blue screen behind me so uh, yeah, other than that, to make it up to you guys, man, we're going to go for a long one today, man. Normally, uh, I would just do like a nice hour long. I want to see if I could go for two hours this time, man. So I'm going to need a lot of water. So with that being said, man, let's get into it. Hopefully you guys have been doing great. Oh, uh, we already did this, right? Yeah, so we already did this. It's not letting me. Let's see, can I load? Scars of Asher. Oh, shit. Okay, so. All right. Well, we're going to have to pick that again. I don't remember what I picked. Apologize properly. I think I, that's what I did. I think, I, yeah, that's what I said. I picked one. So, pick one. And then quick load. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Actually, so I don't cover up the words. Let's actually move. Let me move my myself right here there we go not too bad not too bad all right here we go here we go here we go uh, well, let me also make sure that my phone is low and it is off not off but at least uh on silent all right here we go i make it for the door ouch my left leg is really killing me wait shiki Apparently. I thought something was off before, but now I'm certain. You've injured your leg, haven't you? Oh. Yeah, Oh, this? Uh, it's just a sprain. Or maybe I pulled something. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, you say? She fucking just swift kicks him in the side of the leg. Oh my god, I think she's about to do that. <laughs> Akia walks towards me briskly. She looks me in the eye, and without warning... There. She did, dude. She actually fucking went up and just kicked him. Oh, she just stomped on his foot. Okay. She stepped right on the most swollen part of my left foot. Like, she knew exactly where it hurts. Oh, my. What a surprise. Your poker face crumbled pretty quick, uh, pretty swiftly when push came to shove. That's such a dirty move. I should be the one surprised. You knew exactly what you were doing. Not at all. I assure you, it took all of my courage to ascertain the truth. 
as I so desperately wanted to trust what she had told me. Akia flashes a graceful, oh so wicked smile. This was clearly payback for me not telling her everything. Akia returns to the couch and elegantly lifts her teacup to her lips, as though nothing happened. She seems to be in a fantastic mood now. Now then, while your injury doesn't appear to be serious, oh it's serious, that doesn't mean we can't simply ignore it. These are my orders as the head of the family. You are to receive medical treatment once you finish breakfast. Reason for your injury aside, we can't have you in this much pain. I, hey, take some leave and he'll be fine. I'm happy to get, get it looked at, but are you sure you don't need to know how I got it? To be more specific, I don't care. I'm sure it was something stupid. Besides, it's not like I could it's not like you could what? It's not like you tell me if I'd ask. Akia's an answers curtly, the very picture of authority. What the hell is wrong with me? Authority. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking my words over here. If it's merely a sprain, I'm sure Kohaku could treat you just fine. Oh, hmm, that said. Dr. Rock is present this morning as well. She's actually a qualified surgeon. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that. He's gonna fucking next thing, he's gonna have like the, the super soldier serum injected into his fucking leg. <laughs> Gohaku, who specializes in internal medicine, or Dr. Arak, who is skilled in surgery. Please pick whomever you prefer. Wh whomever you prefer. Huh. This is a little ex unexpected. I, number one, choose Gohaku. Two, cho or choose Professor Arak. Okay, I'm actually... Obviously, I gotta save at these choices, man, because remember, in a game like this, choices matter. Be nice to Akia Coalition. <laughs> I love like little like little notes and shit. Uh, but because I'm pretty sure with Kohaku, she's gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, oh you know, your leg's worse than it is. But let's let's switch it up. Let's go with Professor Arak. Let's see what she's got going on. I'll have Professor Arak examine me. She might be a bit of an enigma, but I guess she's a real doctor. She's even got the white coat and everything. Very well. I will inform her. So please wait in your room after breakfast. She may be unpredictable, but she is also she is also an accomplice physician. You'll be seeing her quite often now that you live here, so please take this opportunity to get to know each other better. Akia speaks dispassionately, perfectly concise and to the point. She was like, I would have rather you preferred Kohaku. <laughs> now then. Oh, I, I, I still kept doing that voice. Now then. I'll grab breakfast and have my leg looked at afterwards. Nice. Back in my room, I decide to read a book to kill some time. Around 10, I spot someone in white leisurely swaggering down the hall through my window. I close my book in preparation for what's coming. Sure enough. Hi! Oh, hi, too! 
bust through this fucking door <laughs> without knocking. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you want to play you want me to play with you for staying in the morning? You're such a bad boy, Shiki. Are you going to gobble me up now that your wild pubescent urges are threatening to boil over? That's a that's a child, doctor. <laughs> Best watch yourself. Without even bothering to knock, the drunkard barges into my room, clasping a flashy bag in one hand. I severely regret not choosing Kohaku. No, I think this was the right choice. <laughs> Damn, just like that. <laughs> uh, it, it, sorry. It seems I picked the wrong person, so could you please leave? Oh, don't be like that. I was only joking, except not at all. It's been so long since I've done a house call, so I'm a little rusty with my bedside manner. Though, you'd prefer if I was a little bit more frank, you know? I was just trying to be nice. She turns away as she approaches my bed, exaggeratingly sw uh, swaying her chest and hips with all the subtlety of a runaway model. Yet oddly, her footsteps make no sound, almost like a ninja, almost like a spider. I was gonna try to like do it like uh, subvert expectations of what I was gonna say. Didn't do that. <laughs> I noticed before that she normally clicks her heels as loudly as possible with every step. Does that mean she's actually taking this examination seriously? Probably not. Okay, now show me what's ailing you. Hurry up, don't be shy. I want to see those clothes fly off. <laughs> you really whetted my appetite here. And so let's get it before. Let's get. What? So let's get to it before I lose all control, heart emoji. You don't have to say that. <laughs> um... Are you drunk? Of course not. I'm always, I'm always stone cold sober. Why just alcohol when I can just guzzle chocolate? It's true that she doesn't smell like booze, but that would mean she's naturally like this. Bad shit crazy, yeah. Oh. Aren't you a good patient? But just rolling up your pant leg uh, legs won't be enough. Oh no. I need you down to your unmentionables. Men only look good or look good naked until they hit 25. So don't be afraid to fall with you uh, what you've got. What? What you've got while you still got it, bro. This Bro, who let this lady become a doctor? <laughs> Insane. Just hurry up and examine me, please, professor. There's a limit to what I'm willing to put up uh, put up with here. Did you just say professor? You did, didn't you? I really do look like one, don't I? Well, I really hope you are. Well, you do look the part. With the lab coat with the lab coat and all. She looks exactly how I'd imagine a mad scientist would look. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Okay. Alright, guess I'll get serious. Professor Rock. I just realized the music. You hear like intense the music is? The hell? Professor Rock crouches down and starts palpitating my legs. It feels like it, uh, it feels kind of weird. Rather than just running her fingers across my skin, she sends little tabs resonating through my leg. Though it doesn't hurt in the slightest. 
That's almost like a submarine using sonar to guide itself. Oh no! You've totally got a fracture. Am I really gonna say this? Okay, let me adjust. Here we go. Here we go. Not many people could put up with this kind of pain. You must be quite the whittle masochist. That's the second time we're gonna hear me say something like that. Ah, so that's what it was. I'm actually kind of glad it was just a fracture. I would have been surprised if she told me it was straight up broken in places. What? Hmm. But this is kind of weird. If you if you fracture it here, then this whole bit should be like broken. Hmm. I think I'll have me a little numb. How does that mean? He bites his leg. A little snaggle tooth that she got going on. <laughs> oh. What? What are you doing? Just some disinfecting. I don't think we need to open you up. Uh, just keep it in place and you'll be fine by tomorrow. Man, what a snooze, oh, what a snooze fest. Arak. Professor Arak scratches her head disappointedly and removes some medical equipment from her bag. She puts on a pair of brand new latex gloves and prepares her syringe. Oh god, it is a super serum, the super soldier serum. I'll give you something for the pain, okay? You don't really need it, but the boss told me to be extra attentive with you. Professor Rock pr uh, presses the needle into my left leg with one fluid motion. Once that's done, she finished by tapping my heel and bandaging my leg to keep them in place. She's actually really good at this. I wager she's on par with the old man who used to take care of me when I lived with the Arimas. If only she could keep her mouth shut, she might be a great doctor. That <laughs> music went back to normal. <laughs> ah, thank you. I feel a lot better now. My pleasure, Shigi. Though I am unlicensed, and this isn't even my field of expertise, I'm like a researcher, you know? And you called me professor, which is super nice. <laughs> okay, she seems pretty happy about the professor thing. Judging by her reaction, I bet Aki has never once called her that. Wait, did she just say unlicensed? <laughs> But you're really pushing your body, you know? Like to the edge of what hu what's humanly possible. Oh, you saw. <laughs> I'm totally into that, though. So, even as your doctor, I won't stop you. I thought you said you weren't licensed. <laughs> oh, Shiki, you're such a meanie, heart emoji. You look cute, but you're actually kind of cold blooded, huh? If only you knew. Are you a hybrid in both body and soul? Hey, how much do you understand your own body? Uh, are you talking about my anemia? Not that. I mean your muscles and bone structure. 
the engine and the frame on this meat machine of yours. You've got some pretty rare features, judging from what I felt. There are two types of muscles, fast twitch, which allow for bursts of movement, and slow twitch, which are built for endurance. You're mostly fast twitch muscle, which is fine, but you're like, super light. Not just your frame, but even your bones themselves. You're a super light freak of nature. Make sense? My bones are light. What am I, a bird? <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. This doesn't happen by accident, you know. It takes a lot of preparation. You're like a thoroughbred, born to sprint super fast for 10 seconds. <laughs> You're the exact opposite of the boss. You never think the two of you were related. Heart emoji. I'm the opposite of Akia? Yeah, she has a she has a whole adamantium uh uh, skeleton like Wolverine and she'll actually sink to the bottom of a pool she tries to swim <laughs> Yep, everyone in the Tono family's got first-rate old DNA All the result of some fancy genetic com uh, combinations the boss is different though or maybe an exception or a miracle. Her genetic makeup harkens back to uh, uh, harkens back to that of her ancestors. Atavism, I think they say that. Folks call it. She's got pure genes, like from before other stuff got brought in. So, if you're the kind of specimen that only appears once in 10 years, how often would you guess someone like her comes around? Once every decade? Once every century? Or once in a millennium? The corners of Professor Ark's lips curl as she poses me the first the, the uh, what poses me the question. I guess Aki is the kind of person that only appears. Let's see, once a decade, once a century. We're gonna do the century. That seems more what's the word feasible. Fuck. <laughs> wrong. They're all wrong. Music stopped. Okay. No amount of artificial talent can match up to her. Uh, monsters like the uh, like the boss only come around once every ten thousand years. A uh, millennium is what a thousand years, right? Professor Rock laughs like she's having a great time. Without thinking, I ball my hands into fists. Just chin checks her. Oh, are you mad that I'm saying mean things about your little sister? I swear I said it with every ounce of affection I've got. Is that so? I still appreciate it if you didn't talk, uh, didn't talk about her like that, though. I don't want her calling Aki a monster. Now that I know vampires, real monsters, exist, I can't stomach that word being used to describe a human being. That goes double when it comes to Akia. Oh, 
Oopsie. Did I hit a nerve? Whew, eek, you're so scary. I better escape while I still can. A rock runs for the door, her heels clicking. I don't say anything to stop her. Yet the woman stops in front of the door, turning around with a sly smile on her face. As your doctor, let me give you some parting words. If you're planning on getting hurt some more, why don't you come talk to me first? That old bot's gone kind of rusty, hasn't it? What do you think? Don't you want to shake off those past seven years of stagnation? Fair warning, though, it'll hurt a ton. He's like, what are you talking about? And she's just like, steroids. <laughs> human, uh, what is it? Human uh, growth hormone. <laughs> just straight up just injecting him with that shit. I don't understand what she's getting at. But the idea of accepting her makes me feel queasy. I'd like to politely reject your offer. I don't plan on this happening again. You're such an optimist. Ciao, Shiki. Heart emoji. I'll be around if you change your mind. Her uh, Professor Rock blows me a kiss and leaves the room. That was certainly something. Now that I can move around again, I should figure out how I want to spend the rest of my day. Mm. Getting wild with Professor Rock. <laughs> it's already afternoon by the time I finish my lunch. After my examination this morning, walking doesn't really hurt anymore. I won't be able to go that far. What, what? I won't be able to go all that far, but where should I spend the afternoon? I could walk around I could take a walk around the garden. I could take a look around the mansion. I can make my way to town. I can't go that far. Let me go to town. What? <laughs> uh let's uh you know what? Let's take a walk in the garden. I'll show you where you You know I me, mean, we got we gotta save when it comes to these uh these moments. So let's go around the garden. Why not? I'll take a walk in the garden. It's been a few days since I've returned to the mansion, but I still haven't walked around the garden even once. I'll go and see how it compares to my memories from seven years ago. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I almost just choked on my own saliva. <clears throat> it's actually possible to enter the courtyard or the courtyard from the lobby. The exit is located just behind the main stairs. I don't know what possessed me when I say currents, but that's not the right thing to say. I walk up to the Terrence. It's the same Terrence that stretches beyond the parlor or behind the parlor. When we were younger, this area was Akia space whenever the weather was nice. But really, it wasn't so much her space as it was the edge of her territory. Akia did not venture into the garden on her own. This terrace was as far as she could go. So that's right. I'd always call out to her from the garden from uh, uh, when her tutor's back was turned. I think she wanted to come to uh, wanted me to come by here whenever we went out to play. She said it was unfair if we went to play in the forest by ourselves or something. Which meant that it was my role to take Aki into the woods and then shoulder the subsequent uh, scolding. Well, isn't that how that one kid fucking got deleted? Apparently, that we saw. Are you about to have? Are you about to have that flashback? <laughs> I moved from the terrace into the garden. In the eyes of a child, the garden looked like it stretched on forever. But now that I'm older and taller, I can grasp uh, grasp it in its entirety. There are fewer flowers here than there were seven years ago, but the general atmosphere of the garden hasn't changed a bit.
They just have a, what is that, a pavilion? <laughs> Gazebo. Yeah. The Gazebo. About ten minutes of leisurely strolling, I arrive at the Gazebo. This is where the garden ends. All that lies beyond is a dense forest. Being, uh, being mindful not to overexert my leg, I decide to end my walk here. Honestly, this place makes me feel like I've left Japan. I sit on a large rock and admire the vast garden and all of its autumn, uh, autumn splendor. From out here, the mansion feels closer to a castle. I feel so out of place in this picturesque scene that I can't help but force a smile. The only person who, uh, who seemed at home in a place like this are Akia and... And her, I guess. That astonishingly beautiful woman is the only other person I can think of. What's wrong with me? I shake my head to chase away the visions. Why am I thinking about Arcoid at a time like this? Because that's what the route indicates, buddy. <laughs> it's not like I'll ever see her again. You don't know, do you? <laughs> he doesn't know, chat. <laughs> now that her target, Vlav, is gone, she has no reason to stay in Soya. That's why. It's pointless to think back on all, uh, on all that's happened. Yeah. But that was the deal from the start. If anything, I'm I'm glad I'm no longer have to deal with it. I stopped myself short. There's no point in telling myself such a poor lie. Things may have calmed down since we parted. But that doesn't mean it feels great. Even now, I'm haunted by these feelings. Regret for the things I did, and for the things I, could not, uh, I couldn't do. Although she brought me nothing but trouble, our time together was... Well, it was fun. <laughs> what am I, stupid? She almost got me killed. But why can't I get her out of my head? The injuries from last night still scar my legs. Remember how Vlav nearly killed you? You shouldn't want to go through something like that ever again. I sigh and leave the gazebo behind. I take my time on the way back too, wandering aimlessly through the garden. But my regrets refuse to set with the sun, and my thoughts continue to wander long, uh, long after the light has faded from the horizon. Night time. At the front, that the fucking mansion's insane, dude. My afternoon wasn't all that eventful in the end. After absentmindedly wasting some time in my room, it didn't take long for dinner time to come around. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing? I should just forget about her. I force myself to stop thinking of the blonde woman inhabiting the back of my mind. They say the sun sets quickly in autumn, but even so, it felt abnormally fast today. I must have lost all sense of time while thinking about this stupid stuff. Aki is seated in the dining room with Kohaku at attention behind her while Hisui is taking her position behind me. Kohaku has prepared a full course meal of Wagyu beef as the entree. Damn, that grade A, that fucking beautiful fucking marbling of just, <laughs> yeah, I you know that shit. I, I love how everybody fawns over that shit. I'm, I'm probably hating because I've never had it, but you know, shit happens in life. <laughs> so I'm not really a steak person. 
I like poultry. I'm a poultry guy. I don't know if it's because of Tono family manners, but Aki is passing the dinner in silence, or passing the dinner in silence with a dignified look on her face. Aki returned to the mansion about an hour ago. Apparently, some unexpected problems arose and she had to dedicate most of her day to dealing with them. He's like, He's sweet. Just asking to be sure. But we're not forbidden from speaking at dinner, are we? I keep my voice to a soft whisper so that Akia doesn't hear. No. Everyone in the family used to converse freely amongst themselves. Okay, so Aki is just quiet because she's in a bad mood. My apologies. That is beyond my knowledge. Though, if I were to speculate, perhaps Mistress Aki is simply exhausted. Right. That makes sense. She's not exactly the most cheerful person, but her mood tonight uh, seems especially sour. Must have been a hell of a day. <laughs> I nod in sympathy. <laughs> I should probably give her some space to relax, since her Sunday was ruined by... Uh, Extentuating? Circumstances. Sure, whatever. And I know better than to try to throw out a random topic. Yep. It's best to let sleeping Akios lie. <laughs> <laughs> Akio's can hear you, Shiki. Akio's <laughs> I'm not tired from this afternoon from this afternoon's inspection. It is merely considered proper decorum in our household to eat in silence. He's like, yeah, well, when I was with the Arimas, we, that, all we did was talk, so I don't know what you want me to do, okay? <laughs> I've already fucked up this first week back in the mansion, all right? What do you want from me? I was with a vampire for two days straight, and nobody came looking for me. <laughs> she glares at me sharply. I'm not surprised that she saw me talk to Hisui, but the fact that she actually overheard what we talked about is terrifying. Just how good is, uh, good is her hearing? Well, she was described as a monster, so... Though I suppose such formalities are a thing of the past now. If there's something you absolutely have to tell me, or if you simply want to talk about our respective days, then go ahead. There are no restrictions forbidding it. Not an acknowledgement, I resume eating. He's like, nope, nothing to talk about. Since I had a small breakfast and lunch, I had worked up a reasonable appetite for dinner. But tonight's meal is difficult to look at. From the beef tenderloin and the frog wah and the deep crimson sauce, all the dishes remind me of what happened uh, happened up to last night. Gua gra. Deep crimson. A lot of very French. A sudden murder. An impossible reunion. An equally impossible monster. And just as death has closed its grips around gripped around me. What? And just as death had closed its grip around me, I also touched death myself. Not to mention. There was the long anticipated farewell once we defeated the vampire. I'm pathetic. I've had the whole day to wallow and I'm still not over it. So? What did you do with your afternoon off? It couldn't have been simply worrying over my work. Ah, uh, ah, Oh, 
Huh? Oh, right. Uh, what did I do? I went for a walk and then I went to my room and laid in bed till dinner. I see. Was it your anemia acting up again? He's like, no, I just, my legs fucked up. Yeah. No, my body's fine. So is my leg for that matter. I was just thinking about stuff and it was nighttime before I knew it. In other words, you spend your day in idleness. そんなくだらないことを堂々と口にしないでください。私は何とも思いませんが、他の人が聞けば笑いものになるだけですから。Please don't speak of such pointless pastimes with pride. I may not, I'm what? I may not think anything of it. But others would find it find you laughable if they heard you talk like this. He's like, I don't give a shit. I have no way of rebuting her merciless words, but I'm curious about something she said. Well, I can see how saying something like that would be kind of lazy. He's like, well, look, I understand that you got the short end of the stick. I mean, both of us did, but at least with the family that I was in, they would see that's a pretty good day as well. <laughs> Actually, no, nah, I definitely was being lazy today, so I'm sorry. But what do you mean when you say you don't think anything of it? Could it be that despite her strict demeanor, she's actually pretty lenient when uh, with her close relatives? Oh, you're her only relative, dog. Mom and dad are gone. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I don't expect anything from you, Shiki. <laughs> Those first three days definitely gave me that impression. <laughs> I've been fully aware of what sort of person you are from the very beginning. I see. There's a certain uh, there is certainly wi uh, wisdom to that. You can't be disappointed if uh, you can't be disappointed if you're not hoping for anything. I'm truly at a loss for words. Ah, that was delicious. Thank you. Gochisousama. Shokugo wa narai goto ga arimasu no de. Watashi wa kore de. Nii-san, hansei na sareta no de shita ra. Konya wa hayame ni heya ni modotte. Bengaku ni hagende kudasai ne. It certainly was. Now I have to practice. So I'll be taking my leave. And Shiki, if you are indeed reflecting on your actions, I suggest you return to your room and devote yourself to your studies. He's just got like a fucking stack of books and papers from school that he missed for like the past three days. <laughs> if anybody did that for him. Aki rises from her seat and leaves the dining room. It sounds like she's got violin practice tonight. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to keep up with someone this multi-talented? Ah, uh, well, you're pretty talented in murdering people, dog. <laughs> Who knows? What? You can't give up, Shiki. Don't let her win. Our resident mischievous housekeeper gives me some quick words of encouragement and a playful wave as she leaves the room with Akia. He said, like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> Don't let her win. After dinner, I take an early oh shit, almost knocked over my camera covering. I take an early bath before returning to my room. I sit at the desk. Thinking back on what Aki said, I decide to open up a textbook and make up for the time I for the time I wasted today. No matter how crazy my life became over the past couple days, I'm still a second year in high school. I've got a mountain of work to do. It's, it's certainly a mountain, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
and what amount it is. But no matter how hard I try, I just can't concentrate. I keep seeing them in the back of my head. Ooh, I love that coloring. That was cool. Like that, that blue tone on Arcway, that was nice. Unneeded visions of a woman who I've only who I should have forgotten by now. Uh, that's enough for today. Give <laughs> he opened one book, he said. Nah. <laughs> Just went back onto the bed. <laughs> that's insane. I love it. Given up. I fall onto the bed sheets and stare idly at the ceiling. Then he's just gonna come out of nowhere. It's okay. So now is the last time I have to deal with this. It was an intense couple of days, for better or for worse. It's not as if I could forget about it that easily. I'll need at least a day to cool down. Which is what I'm doing right now, just letting my mind wander. I pass the time in a daze, hoping to distance myself from those memories and wash away the impressions they left on me. As long as I can manage this, the things that happen will fade away into the past. Oh, he's falling asleep. My eyelids grow heavy. Oh, excuse me. My consciousness drifts away. And slowly, but surely, darkness wraps my senses in its embrace. Thus does my peaceful day off come to an end. I lie in bed and slide into a vague slumber, as if I can convince myself it'll all fade away. <laughs> what if he wakes up and Arkaway just out his fucking window tapping on that shit? Ooh, Scars of Azure. Finish Moon Princess Chapter 6. Nice. Nice. Nice and nice. Let's keep going, shall we? Let's keep doing it. Yes, I would like to save my process. I need to get more water. I'm running low on that shit. Alright, what's this next one? Ooh. Okay. Day 7. Mystic Eyes of Death Perception, Part 1. I slowly drift awake. My arm feels heavy as I reach out for my glasses. Looks like I've got a fever. The thought crosses my mind as I thought there was someone else's problem, or as, though as it, what though it were someone else's problem. I put on my glasses. My vision returns to normalcy, though a tinge of dizziness remains. The symptoms re uh, resemble a common cold, but it's just the flush of a uh, of a what? It's just the flush of a light morning fever. It'll pass with time, like giving a cold engine some time to warm up. Someone knocks on the door. After waiting for a moment, part of my intrusion. Hisui enters the room with a bow. Morning, Hisui. Thanks for the wake-up call. Good morning, Master Shiki. I see you're awake. Yes, I slept pretty well last night. I'll get changed and head to the dining room, uh, dining room right away. Kohaku-san,にはちょっと熱があるから、量は少なめだって伝えてほしい。Tell Kohaku that I have a bit of a fever, so I'll be eating light today. Of course. Of course. Uh, will you be needing a thermometer? I don't need No, that's okay. It's just a mild one. I'll get, uh, I get them all the time. <laughs> yeah, I just take a shot of day quill and I'm good for the day. <laughs> It'll be gone by eight. 
Here are your clothes then. We shall await you in the dining room. Isui bows and leaves the room. God damn it. it may have been my imagination, but her bow doesn't feel as crisp as usual. Crisp as usual? Uh, wonder if she's worried about me. I mean, I'm just so used to this stuff like this. I appreciate the feeling, but it really is no big deal. I mean, if we want to talk about people who've had it rough, she should see Arcoade. <laughs> the tape. <laughs> I forgot about the tape. That wound of hers was no joke. Next time you what, buddy? <laughs> uh, still can't believe she thought tape was a good idea. Just seeing it stressed me out. Next time I'll... I stopped before finishing the thought. There is no next time. We won't be seeing each other again. It's better to avoid getting involved with someone like that. Yeah, this is for the best. High time I get through this. Uh, get this through my head. The day is Monday. It's the beginning of the week, and I'm eager to get started. I swear, if we get to the crossroads and she's fucking there, <laughs> I wash my face and get dressed before heading over to the parlor. Aki is sitting on the sofa. It's just after seven, but she's already enjoying her post-breakfast cup of tea. Good morning, Shiki. You're up early today. My waking up, uh, my what? My waking up early has Aki in a good mood, it seems. Morning, Aki. You're up early as of all of a sudden. I'm struck with a bout of vertigo and grab my head. The dizziness persists. My body heats up like I've never felt like I've never felt it before. Nisa. Shiki? <laughs> it's fucking hits his head on the side of the sofa. <laughs> That'd be insane. Well, I guess that light fever is more of a is more of a severe fever, my man. I mean, it has a hundred and fucking three, uh, what is it, uh, body temp currently. <laughs> He's dying. I hear the sound of rustling clothes, then footsteps toward me. Is everything all right? Your face is red. Do you have a fever? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I do, but... Akia comes closer and peers up at me from below. Strange. For some reason, it feels like it's worse when I'm looking at her. Yes, you do seem a little hot. Did you sleep without a blanket? I don't think that's the cause of that. Does that does, does not sleep with a blanket cause fevers? That's kind of lame. I'm sure it's simply because of the change in your environment, but we mustn't take any act, uh, chances. You wait here. I'll call Kohaku. You should take your temperature. Uh, we sh oh, sorry. We should take your temperature before you eat. Akia looks over to the lobby. She's probably thinking about going over to the kitchen and getting Kohaku. I avert my gaze from Akia in that moment. As I do, my dizziness passes. Oh. He's getting the same feelings I for uh for Akia that he did for Arcoade. Uh oh, that's not good. And I don't think Akia's gonna be able to come from this one. <laughs> come back from this one like Arcoade. It's okay, Akia. 
You don't need to call Kohaku over. It's only because I just woke up. You don't have to worry about every. We can't leave anything to chance when it comes uh, when it comes to your health. What if you get worse? You're in no position to take any illness lightly with your immune system. Visibly irritated, she brings her hands on my forehead. Her delicate palm is cold to the touch, enough to send a shiver down my uh, down my nape, oh, which is like the nape of his neck, like the back of his neck. His neck. First of all, if you're gonna take temperatures with someone. Back of the hand, not your palm. Palm is uh, cooler than the palm of your hand, so remember that. So uh, you could you could gauge fevers a lot more accurately with the palm uh, with the uh, back of your hand. For the briefest moment, I cease breathing. Aki is right. Something is wrong with me today. I don't know why, but every movement of hers makes me tense. Just watching her causes my temperature to spike. The realization hits me that I might faint if she keeps touching me. Shiki, you're burning up. Akia's words ring through my skull. It feels as if her long black hair and porcelain skin have been evaporated into heat and trickled into my head. Uh oh, let's... <laughs> Let's not get into this troll, please, because goddamn. Did Jorno Steam starts playing after that? <laughs> Ugh, this is bad. But the feeling will fade. Fatigue must be causing it. My body hasn't had enough time to recuperate. Before I end up doing something incredibly stupid in front of Akia, I make my move. Yes. Ah, I just remembered something. Gotta go. I brush, uh, brush away her hand and scurry off like a panicked rabbit. Uh, Master Shiki, breakfast will still be another five minutes at least. Uh, right, thanks. Uh, wh where's my bag? Your bag is here. Hisui is as prepared as always. I thank her and take it in, and take it in hand. I'm gonna head out. No need to send me off. Uh, hold on. Is... Is...ライチ、廊下は走らない。妹の言うことはきちんと聞くが、我が家のルールです。おとなしく今で熱を測ってください。is this lake fully healed? This man's running full sprint with a fucked up leg. He's like, nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, what do you think you're doing? What about your fever? Listening to your sister is the most important rule in this household. And don't run in the hallways. Get back here and take your temperature this instant. Aki has come to the lobby to stop me. But luckily for me, her reluctance to run indoors is slowing her down. <laughs> Sorry. I'll worry about the rules later. I'm feeling better already, so I'm just gonna head off to school. I'll figure something out for breakfast, so let me off this once. Figure something out? Wait, just wait just a second. Why is her nail so long? What the fuck? I mean, it's just the way it's drawn. It looks a little weird. What do you mean you'll worry about the rules later? If they could just be brushed aside so easily, they wouldn't be called rules. Rules are meant to be broken, Akia. <laughs> In an effort to escape Akia's objections, I burst out of the entrance. I clap my hands together and whisper a heartfelt apology to Akia in my head. Honestly, I'm grateful that she's concerned for my well-being, but I just, but I can't just be like, 
By the way, whenever I look at you, I get so dizzy I feel like I'm going to pass out. Not when she's worried about my health, and who knows what kind of pain might be in store for me when I, if I came clean. Yeah, that's not a good look for you, bro. Doesn't help that OG Tsukihime goes well into that a little too, a little too much. <laughs> Bringing out a huge sigh, I finally settled down. I should be safe here. My assumption is that Akia wouldn't, wouldn't be immature enough to drop her schedule to come after me. And it's so like Akia to be mad at me about breaking the rules. I laughed to myself, thinking back to what she said. She may be my sister, but I still can't tell where her boiling point is. I guess I'll stop by the convenience store. My wallet, my wallet is not doing too hot, but I at least, but I ought to, what? But I ought to at least eat something. Why am I only ever hungry on days like this? Usually I'd be fine skipping breakfast, but today I'm starving. I'll just grab something small to hold me over until lunch. All right, who are we meeting at the fucking convenience store? <laughs> It only takes a couple minutes to get in and out of the store. I arrive at school 30 minutes earlier than usual. There aren't many students around. By my count, there's two or three, including myself. Though, in as little as 10 minutes, the front gate should be packed with students. Naturally, the guard row is devoid of any unbelievable beautiful women sitting in the and sitting in wait for someone. We call that a callback. <laughs> the athletic clubs are in the middle of their morning practice. I watched them out of the corner of my eye as I approached the entrance. Working up a sweat is actually pretty enjoyable. There's something about it that makes me feel alive. But I never wound up joining any club. I didn't want to burden anyone with my anemia. Plus, my doctor has strongly advised me to avoid strenuous exercise. When I was a first year, I was invited to join a few times. But I always told them, maybe next time. And each time I did, I felt the distance between us grow. In the end, maybe the feeling of not wanting to get involved with others became a self-defense mechanism. This isn't, the, this isn't the time for silly sentimentality. I shout out. Uh, what? I shout out to. Uh, I shout out some support. Uh, what? Fuck. I shout out some support to the clubs knee deep in training before making my way to the main building. I don't know why that was weird to read. Oh god, we have the other problem too. <laughs> well, well, morning, cheeky. Are we early today? Uh, yeah. I got the time mixed up. Good morning, Miss Noel. I run into Miss Noel on the way to the classroom. She seems just as surprised as me to see someone around at this time. Aren't you, uh, aren't you the little busy bee? Usually when someone mistakes the time, they turn up late, not early. You're still young, so why not take it easy, you know? I do take it easy. I'm not really that good of a student anyway. Speaking of which, about missing school last Friday. Ah, that. Uh, don't worry about it. I haven't said anything to your family. Sorry, I'm laughing. I saw something on my phone <laughs> that uh, that was just I was I had to look at something real quick, but <laughs> nice little meme there. It's not a big deal to play hooky every once in a while. That would be more convenient for you, wouldn't it? Miss Noel flashes a devious smile as she utters something I've never expected to hear from a teacher. Oh God! All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
Be prepared for some fucking crazy shit. My savior. Unless she already said what I just read was what she said. This must be what saved me from that, from the full weight of Akio's fury. Actually, isn't Miss Noel being too lenient for a teacher? Oh, Shiki. You're so uptight. I take my job very seriously, I'll have you know. I just care about the independence of my students. You're all so young. I could just eat you up. There's nothing wrong with stretching your legs for a day and having fun. Yeah. Well, I, I wasn't exactly having fun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know, I know. It's your Nimia, right? I know you're not going out and playing with fire or anything. Well, it was fire and ice. He's like, how'd you know? <laughs> Are you feeling better? Do you hurt anywhere? It sounds like she was genuinely worried about me. Miss Noel actually wasn't uh, too far off the mark with her joke, but I won't be correcting her. The anemia is better. I'm feel I feel really good today. じゃあ、今日から気楽な学生生活に戻れるわね。ところで、慢性的な貧血という話だけど、シキ君はいつからそういう体質なの?やっぱり生まれつき。Glad to hear it. I hope you're ready to settle back into being a student. By the way, when did you become anemic? Were you born with it? 生まれつきではないんです。子供の頃に事故にあって。um, no, I wasn't born with it. I was in an accident when I was little. Oh, really? Oh. Not too far off. Oh, how terrible. And that's why you can't exercise or eat much. So, what happened? Hi. Excuse me? My voice slips out of the at the unexpected question. Miss Noel licks her glossed lips and speaks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's more insane. Noel or Dr. Arak. I asked you what happened in your accident. It was serious enough to screw you up, wasn't it? But yeah, I almost fucking died. I bet it was excruciating. The whole ordeal must have made your eye made you made you ball your eyes out. And once it was over, you felt like you've been reborn again. He's like, you know a little bit too much about this accident here, for my liking. <laughs> An indescribable dread takes hold of me. Not from her insensitivity, but it, it's been obvious from day one that she's a busybody, and I don't think she's great at reading the room. What makes me hesitate is that I don't remember a thing about the accident. It was just a regular accident. I'm still here, so... It can't have been that too, or it couldn't have been too bad. But I should get going to class. Uh, I should get going. Class is about to start. He's fucking like, let me fucking <laughs> walk him past her. I bow before moving past Mr. Well. Shiki. I turn around in response to hearing my name. If you're feeling better, no more unexcused absences, okay? 
It's for your own good, heart emoji. The returnee from France winks before leaving the room, uh, uh, leaving for the faculty room. I thought it'd be the first one here, but a few of my classmates are already in the room. Uh, you're here early, Shiki. Where were you Friday? I'm morning. Wasn't feeling too good. You don't practice? Yep, they've been telling us to cancel these, uh, cancel those now. We only just got a new captain. How is he supposed to step into his new role if we can't practice? Even the sports clubs are feeling the effects of all this vampire business. Though that'll change soon. That stuff is over now. Things should go back to normal. They never do, bud. They never do. Five minutes until homeroom. Just as I'm bracing myself for a full day of classes. Good morning, Serial Skipper. A voice from behind sends my peaceful morning uh, shattering into a thousand pieces. Yes, Sup, punk? That absence on Friday was dope as shit. With your sorry ass here, the morning's looking, or my morning's looking, looking. Wait, you seem fine. The hell, man? I thought you spent the whole weekend cocked out in bed. Nope. Nope. And I wasn't anemic either. Ugh. I didn't feel great on Friday, so I went home to get some rest. I felt better after, but it wound up being too much of a pain to make it back to school. You gotta be shitting me. You spent three days living the good life there and you're already one of them, huh? You could roll up anywhere and just live uh, and live just fine, huh? Now that I want to, not that I want to live in that big ass mansion. Who the hell would want that? <laughs> Am I right? Arihiko puts up a brave front. I could probably learn a thing or two from him. I'm still not wild about it, to be honest. Uh, you have no idea how insanely massive it is. Wait, have you seen the Tono Mansion before? Nope. It's way up on that hill, boxed in by a wall and a bunch of trees, right? No one's getting a good look at that. I'd love to check it out, but isn't security there like Fort Knox or some shit? あ、いや。ケイコさんの話じゃ、年に数回泥棒騒ぎがあるらしいけど、遠野邸に警察が駆けつけたことなんかないって言ってたし。お前だって他の上の屋敷に泥棒が入ったなんて話聞いたことないだ
Isn't that spooky? Hmm. You think? If they're catching the burglars before the cops can even get to them, what did that mean the place's security is top notch? That's what I'm saying, dude. Where do you where did the burglars even go after? Ah, I get you. That must be why no one hears about any break-ins. We nod our heads in agreement. Afraid of where this train of thought might lead us, we quickly decide to change the subject. Oh yeah. Have you checked out the damage from Saturday? You know, the fire on the north side of the station? No, not yet. I've only heard about it. It's like, actually, I was there. <laughs><笑>あれ、北口に改装前のデパートあっただろう。あの前にあった公園がごっそり地下に陥没してる。あれひでえぜ。元に戻すの1年はかかるんじゃねえかな。<笑> You know that old department store by the north exit? The park in front of it is totally collapsed. It's just a big ass crater now. They're saying it'll take a whole year to fix it. But I guess it's not all that bad. With the cops and the press all over the place, those assholes have screwed off for good. Oh yeah? What about that whole terror ne uh, near uh, Kuramibashi Station? Kuramibashi no hotel te, ano dome hotel? Ah, so eba chile mo kasai ba atta nda kke. Kitaguchi no kore puri ga sugen de wasurete da wa. You mean the dome hotel? Yeah, right. There was a fire there too, huh? The stuff near the station was so crazy I totally forgot. I can't blame Arihiko for feeling so indifferent about it. An incident of that scale, which claims so many lives, is just still a story from another town. We live in a time where we're flooded with news. Even when we hear something terrible, it's quickly overrun by the next tragedy. Tragedy. Story of the world, right? <laughs> Man, nothing changes. The world is still pretty fucked up. Anyway, what's up with you? Back in middle school, you never missed a day of school even with your condition. But then again, I guess there were a couple of times where you bolted right out, uh, right, bolted right after coming in. It was the same thing. I made it to the crossing in front of the school, but started feeling like crap, so I went home. Yeesh. Both you and Yumizuka are breaking bad, huh? Can't really deny it in my case. But what's going on with Yumizuka? Oh, a whole no, not my girl Satsuki. Ah,しかし振り転んだから上がれないと。Ah, she's been absent since last Thursday. She's not today, or she's not here today either. She was always a good model student, or she was always a model student. Guess things were looking good on the flop, but she decided to fold before the river. The fuck does that mean? Arihiko certainly has a way with words. Oh, ah, shoot. Gotta bounce. <laughs> See ya. You better hit the books and make it up for Friday. Arihiko hurries out of the room. He seems about about something. I'm guessing he's going to hide out in the nurse's office. It's his turn to ditch class, it seems. 
No, not my girl Satsuki. I already know what happens because of <laughs> of of, of uh, OG uh, Tsukihime. And obviously, uh, I'm back as well. <laughs> the moment lunch break, uh, l what? the moment lunch break begins, Arahiko reemerges, yawning. It's obvious he's been sleeping this whole time. Ugh, but or I, I actually yawned there, but I have been yawning for a hot minute now. Ah, uh, now that was a good nap. Let's grab some grub, Shiki. I'm positive Hiko. I'm positive Hiko. <laughs> I'm positive Ar Arihiko's mind runs on en on an endless loop. Eat, sleep, sex, repeat. Jesus Christ. The, the third one. それは飯は当然のように食べるけど、いいのか？俺なんかに構って。ランチは先輩と一生が、お前のマイブームじゃなかったっけ？ <laughs> Ah, uh, that's fine with me. But wasn't your new thing eating with CL? Huh? What? Lunch with CL? Arihiko pulls a sour face on my question. She must have turned him down today. We eat lunch, uh, we eat lunch together. Arihiko's bright-eyed and bushy-tailed after his nap. Let's see, let's see. Soya Station Incident. Damn. Still no updates. Phone in hand, he scours the web looking for new information. Being disconnected from the world for even a few hours is a life or death matter. You think he just uh, what you would what? you think he was just addicted to his phone like every other teenager? Or he goes cut from a different cloth. To him, this isn't this just what this isn't just a way of killing time. He was looking for ammunition to help him survive each night when he spends prowling downtown. Huh. Another run of the mill convenience store robbery. A clerk was stabbed in the stomach by some boozer. Ugh. I bet that hurt too. Can't reason with a drunk either. I'll stick with online shopping, thank you very much. Ariko continues to work his way through his lunch as he messes around on his phone. The modern version of a father reading the newspaper during dinner. But now is in the time for uh, what is it, societal critiques. Arihiko. Arihiko, you're having a blast reading the newspaper all you while you eat. The newspaper the news. Nah, not really. But someone's got to look out for his clueless buddy. ギテマスカトーノ君。下口は倒壊するわ。酔っ払いは人を刺すわ。無差別に人を殺す通り魔はいるわ。他人事じゃねえかもなんだぜ。うう、あ、アパロジーズフォーヤーニングソマッチ。
There shouldn't be any more victims, and this town can finally go back to the way it was. Mm, I don't know, man. I think we'll see more. I'm telling you, we won't. Why do you think that? Well, because they just announced that they found a ninth body this morning. Arhiko shows me the screen on, of his phone. <laughs> what? I can't believe my eyes. Ten million fireflies, dude. They lit up the world. The site has been has a new update with, on the murders with a picture of the north side of the Soya station. <laughs> Ah, shit. This is behind the movie theater we always go to. Wait, show me again. I take Arahiko's phone from my hand. Is that some crackpot theory or random hypothesis? Ninth victim of serial killer confirmed by police at press conference is enable. What? Not enabled, what's the word? Em emblazoned, there you go. Emblazoned on the phone screen. No way. The revelation has me stunned into silence. He. Vlav is dead. I killed him myself. Then why? How can there be more bodies drained of blood turning up? I think we know. <laughs> it's not Vlav anymore. It's a certain schoolgirl. Spoilers. <laughs> Just borrow that one out, but spoilers. Or maybe it's another vampire we haven't seen yet. Who knows? A, man, a modern vampire in the flesh, huh? I wouldn't mind getting sucked dry by a beautiful lady. <laughs> Dog, that's, that's crazy. A beautiful vampire? Arahiko's words are like ice against my skin. I wouldn't get I wouldn't mind getting sucked by a dry by a beautiful lady. Yeah. He's obviously kidding, but that doesn't feel like a joke to me. This This isn't over. The discovery of a new victim means there's still a vampire in our midst. And if we were to use the process of elimination. Who that vampire is should be abundantly clear. Vlav is gone, which leaves only one vi a vampire remaining. That's not her, buddy. You should be good. <laughs> unless it's a, unless it's a, unless, what? Unless it's a, unless it lets us switch up is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Class has come to an end. And school finishes for the day. Or maybe I should stay or should say school was over before I knew it. The worst possible assumptions had clouded my mind, and by the time I realized it, I was sitting alone in an empty classroom. The murders haven't stopped. Before, I wouldn't have given it a second thought. But she said it herself. She's never killed any humans. I can't see her lying to me about that. Did the news get it wrong? Or could it be? Only Arkawid would know the answer to that question. If I could just find her, I'm sure the pieces would all fall into, uh, fall into place. That's why I don't understand what I'm thinking. This is no longer any of my business. When I finished off Vlav, I went back to my old life. I did my job. My part in this should be over. I have no reason to dive back in. Why would I go why would I go back to all the craziness on my own volition? I should just go home. Keep walking down this path that path this path as if nothing ever happened. I'll go home. That has to be the next best alternative. Though I've been taught since I was little, to always choose the best option. Do 
どんな人間だって、人生ってのは落とし穴だらけなのよ。No, it's always nice to see you. I'll go. I'll go. なんとかできる力があるんだから、もっとちゃんとしなさい。Everyone's got their own share of problems to overcome in life, but you have the strength to do something about it. So pull yourself together. That's right. Doing nothing isn't an option. Those words saved my life. I've always tried to live by them. So I can't pretend like this has, something, has nothing to do with me. This isn't over. Now that I've gotten myself involved, it's my responsibility to see this through to the end. I leave the school. Although I don't have any idea where she could be, I still have the key to her apartment. Why? <laughs> Why the fuck do you still have that?、Um, so I'll start there. I feel like you should knock first before you do anything. Nope, no knocking? Okay. You know, you. Not here, huh? The apartment looks the same as when I last left it, but a r k a w a i t is nowhere to be seen. There are signs that she's been here, though. I'm relieved that she just hasn't disappeared into thin air. Ah, well. I wasn't expecting to find her so soon, anyway. Now, to decide what to do next. I can wait for her here, but there's no knowing. If she'll、uh, be coming back, I'll probably have to look for her in town, just like how I first met her. Give us the option. Give us the option. <laughs> Alright, l we're in town, baby. Is it Starbags Cafe? Or Cafe, by the looks of it. And we got Tony Music. <laughs> Tony Music? Like Sony? Oh no. The sun sets over the city, paving the way for night to reveal itself. I take a look around. I took a look around all of the major spots, but I don't manage to catch a hint of Arkawain. <sighs> She was walking around all over. What? She was walking around all over just a couple days ago. Why is it that when I need her, I can't find her? What do I do? It's still early in the evening, Al. Ooh, okay. Let's see. What, what, what'll switch up here? What'll switch up here? Because I don't know if there's like a prominent.、Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a prominent.、Uh, what's it called? Route here. We could go back to the mansion and think things through. See what's going on. Why there's still a killer around. Or we could wander the city for a bit. You know what? Sometimes you need a game plan, you gotta do that in a, in a, in a space, in a, in, a nice little,、uh, in a nice little center. So we're gonna go back to the mansion and think things through. <laughs> Fucking flaw of zombies come out and kill them again. <laughs> it's 7 o'clock. This has always been a quiet street, but once night falls, it's almost completely silent. I'm about to press the call button to get, to the, gate, to get the gate unlocked when I remember. That it's just before dinner. I'm sure Kohaku and Hisu are in the kitchen right now, and I don't want to bother them. You have a key card. There it is. I'll use the key card I have to get through the gate. Uh. It had, it, it had left my mind completely. I remember what happened this morning as I passed through the gate. Oh. Could Akiya still be angry at me before leaving?、Uh, in a hurry? Uh, yeah, way she's not an adult. No way she's not a kid. What does that mean? <laughs> no way she's no way. She's not. Yeah, we'll just go with that one. Yeah. Okay, that's not what I thought he was going to say. <laughs> Aki is not exactly the most mature person out there. 
But I doubt. But I doubt she'll let me. Uh, she'll let me off so easily. If anything, at this time, has probably only uh, let her anger simmer and boil. Running away from my perfectionist sister has likely lit an unquenchable flame inside her that will continue raging until it's doused. She's definitely not someone you want to make an enemy out of. But it's always been but it's what but it's been twelve hours since the shenanigans this morning. Comparing her anger to a balloon about to burst would be a grievous a uh, grievous a grievous understatement. It's a grievous but Ah, this is making my head hurt. To think I find my own sister scarier than that self-proclaimed or self-professed uh, vampire. I sigh as I mull over the mess I'm in. But it's not like things will get any better with me standing here shaking in my boots. I brace myself for whatever calamity is awaiting me and open the door. Tadaima. I'm home. I enter the lobby, trying to sound as natural as possible. Hmm. That's strange. I can hear voices from the parlor. It's just before dinner. It's odd that anyone would be in a parlor at this time. Kohaku should be in the kitchen. And I can't exactly see Hisu and Akia and Akia chatting in uh, chatting with one another. I wonder if Akia is having tea with Kohaku. Either that, or we have a visitor. Just as I'm about to head over to the parlor, I found out for myself. Hisu exits the room. Could she be coming to greet me after hearing me arrive home? Something about her expression seems off, like she's gloomier than usual. Hey, Hisui. Uh, sorry I'm a little late. Hisui stares at me blankly. She doesn't even give me a welcome home. Um, is there something wrong? I may just be imagining it, but it feels like you're mad at me. You have a guest, Master Shiki. Oh, fuck, did Arcoway show up? No way. Because that would make sense as to why she would. She, because obviously she's the one that sent him back to the, to the mansion. Would it be Arihiko? Or it could be CL, who knows, we'll see in a second. They're awaiting you in the parlor, so please join them as soon as you are able. A guest? Hisui nods. That's weird. Why would anyone visit me? I'm pretty sure Arihiko is the only one who even knows that I moved here. Wait a second. <laughs> a terrible feeling washes over me. Hisui? <laughs> what kind of person is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's Arkwell. Oh, it's not, it's not Arihiko. He's, he's safe, guys. The boy's safe. A blonde haired woman. She's quite pretty. What? There's only one person I know who fits that, that, fits that description. My reflexes take over. I break into a dash, sprinting towards the parlor as fast as my legs will carry me. What's going on? I swung open the door and entered the room of death. But it's already too late. There's no stopping this now. My end is nigh. <laughs> the music. <laughs> I love the music. My, my. Welcome home, Shiki. You're late again this evening. That's cool. I never really thought that Arkoe and, and Aki would ever meet. I, I don't know why it never that would never cross my mind, but I guess it does. That's pretty cool. 
Ah, oh, you finally decided to come home, huh? Look at you, making us both wait. Guess you're always like this, huh? Oh no, we should have just walked around the city, ladies and gentlemen. Oh fuck. Oh no, it's not looking good for our boy. <laughs> well, he brought it upon himself, so. They stare at me with each polar opposite expressions on their faces. I know what this feeling is. This must be how a captive feels when they're forced to plead for their life with a gun pointed at the back of their head, like in an action movie. It's just, it's just funny. He's like, oh, he's just standing there. He's like, fuck. <laughs> Words fail me. I'm unable to come up with any kind of response. I can't believe Arkwood and Aki are face to face in the same room. They're both sitting on the sofa, like there's nothing amiss at all. Though unlike Arkwood, who seems perfectly calm, Aki has bitter contempt written all over her face. <laughs> Dude, she's like, she like it's like that uh, uh, what is it? What was it? Yeah, it's like that that like little meme of like Homer. He's like fucking choking out <laughs> Bart. That's exactly what's going through my mind right now. <laughs> Akia glances at me. What's the matter? Why don't you come and sit with us instead of standing in the doorway? No way. I inch a little closer to the sofa, but the feeling that I might be stabbed by a knife keeps me from moving any nearer. <laughs> No, no, I, I, I'm okay here. Anyway, this is a... Uh, how do I even begin to explain? I doubt I can get away with calling her a classmate, and she's and saying she's someone I met in town would probably just make things worse. Go on. Aki's glare pierces into me. I can tell I'm not going to be let off the hook here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I could say that'll dig me out of this hole. Still, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, or to sub what little piece I found. There's got to be a way to explain. But what is she doing here in the first place? How can she sit there smiling away like that? I can't imagine Akia will let someone she's never met before into the parlor. Actually, first of all... What has she told you? Smart. Smart man. Mm hmm? Hmm? Arkway tilts her head in confusion. She's your friend, isn't she? At least, that's what I've been told. Oh, yeah! You could say that. I see. Then why don't you introduce us? It would be rude of me to just send your friend home. <laughs> the voice actor is like killing us so far for Shiki. Um, well, the funny thing is, I mumble. Nah, she's playing along. She's doing it. She's, she's messing with him. I like it. Oh. I'm just a friend, huh? There it is. Arkway works her way into the conversation, probably tired of being ignored. Nah, she's, she's killing <laughs> No, she's not helping the situation. Ah, oh, you're unbelievable. I'm still aching after everything you did to me, you know. No. Oh, okay, okay. She's probably referencing when he fucking cut her up in like 45 chunks. But the way it sounds does not help his case whatsoever. <laughs> and I and Akia's reaction is already insane. What? There it is. My head whirls. Now, this is some vertigo. Floored, I find myself decoupling from reality with astonishing speed. So what, 
私の兄が身体面あるいは精神面においてあなたに危害を加えたとでも And what is it you mean by that? Are you saying my brother has somehow caused you bodily or, or mental harm? I was definitely bodily. I don't know about mental. Sorry, but if you don't know how much of a sympathy is in your life, do you understand what it is? Pardon my rudeness, but do you understand what it is you're insinuating? Yes, it's all right. But be careful. I don't care about that. Oh no, she's not helping the situation. She's not reading the room correctly. I do, but don't worry about it. We're square. I didn't pay me back with his body tenfold. <laughs> she's not helping, she's not reading the room correctly. <laughs> I will second out the, uh, the polar opposite black hair, blue eyes, blonde hair, red eyes. That's cool. What's it all there? So, no problems there. I just wanted to ask Shiki if he wanted to join me for something. We'll be out of your hair, uh, hair soon. Isn't that right, Shiki? Akiya's <laughs> fucking face, dude. Oh no. <laughs> this is, oh no. We should have just walked around the cities, man. The cities? We should have just walked around the city. This would have saved us. We probably would have met CL. Who knows? Shit, this is bad. The more she talks, the shorter my lifespan gets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a jokester. I force a laugh as I make for Arcoid, grabbing her arm. Shiki, what are you doing? There's no time to listen to her complaints. Dragging Arcoid by the arm, I bolt out of the parlor, leaving a stunned Akia behind. Oh no. Isu is waiting in the lobby. I wonder what she's thinking, seeing me with Arcoid in tow. I have a hunch I won't like the answer, so I'll worry about that later. My man's at work, he's like, look, I, I, I understand now, worry about it later. <laughs> Are you going out, Master Shiki? Unfortunately, I'm really, really sorry about this, but could you leave the front gate unlocked for me? Of course. Please take care. I hurry past the bowing Hisui and try to get away from the mansion as fast as possible. Oh, excuse me. Oof. Oh, that hurts. What are you doing, dragging me out outside all, all of a sudden? I've never heard a stupider question in my life. What the hell are you thinking? Waltzing into my house like that? Are you trying to destroy my life, you imbecile? ばバカ女って、あなたは私をバカにしてるの? Imbecile? Oh, so you think I'm stupid now? I'm calling a spade. Oh. I'm calling a spade a spade. If you got a problem with that, let's hear it. Uh, wait, what? I'm actually livid. I've never been in such an infuriating situation before. I have to give her a piece of my mind, otherwise I won't be able to let this one go. Why are you acting like this? All I did was come all I did was come see you, Shiki. He's like, you don't understand the gravity of the situation that you did coming to my house. They don't know you exist, and now they do. <laughs> I don't think I I don't think I did anything that bad. You just came to see me. Are you serious? Yeah, what about it? What's the big deal? 
I didn't use my mystic eyes, and I acted totally human. I didn't tell your sister anything about your eyes, or that I'm a vampire. Well, yeah, I, that much I got. Even you're not clueless enough to do something like that. I don't get you at all. Why are you so mad at me then? Because you don't think before you do things. I'm going to take this chance to tell you once and for all, okay? You've got to think about how you come off to other people. I'm begging you. Stop drawing so much attention to yourself. Don't you realize how much you stand out? Phew. <laughs> Random ass cat ears. Okay. I feel better now that I've said what I needed to be said. The Arcoid who has been on the receiving end of it seems to be the complete opposite. She glares at me like a pouting cat. <laughs> Why do you get to decide everything? That's not fair. And what, is, and what makes me stand out so much? I look like any other regular human, don't I? I don't know, maybe it's the red fucking eyeballs you have, Arcoid. Who, who knows? I mean, people that I know IRL don't have that, and if they do, it's called pink eyes, so who knows? Doesn't matter if what doesn't matter if you look like one of us or not. The fact is, you're beautiful, and that makes you stand out. Okay, I don't understand the sincerity. I don't understand why what you didn't have to say that, but thanks. I replied to her frankly. Maybe it's because I gave her a straight answer, but Arkway readily accepts it. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of glad we're near the end, dude. My, my mouth is gone. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm being too harsh on you. I've never been in a tense situation like that, so I got a little carried away. It's fine. I guess I'm the one at fault here. Arkway bows her head in a show of honest remorse. Somehow, I'm starting to feel guilty for thinking she may have had some alter uh, uh, ulterior motives. I know how to say that word, but again, I, I'm already close to the two hours and my mouth is... <laughs> my mouth does not want to say the words I want. So, why did you come here? Actually, you saved me a lot of trouble. I needed to talk I needed to talk to you anyway. Really? I just came to see you or see what you were up to. I see. Indulging your, your curiosity, huh? Well, do me a favor and hide behind a tree or something next time so no one can catch you doing it. Better yet, do it somewhere I can't find you either. I feel exhausted all of a sudden. Though this isn't exactly the first time I've been caught up in one of Arkoid's little whims. And the fact is that she didn't tell Akia anything means that she at least put some consideration into my position here. Anyway, I need to ask you about something. Let's go somewhere where we can talk. That's fine with me, but what is it you want to ask? I'll tell you in a second. Alright? So let's head over to the park. 
There shouldn't be anyone around at this time of night, except for two witches. I motion toward the road and start walking. Arkaway tilts her head in curiosity, but she follows after me without a word. So what is it, Shiki? You said that the recent murders were the work of a vampire, right? Arkaway nods. So that's why, in the morning, the new guy was the new guy. Did you know that another victim was announced on the news this morning? Killed by the serial killer last night and drained of blood. She narrows her eyes. I can tell I've stepped on thin ice. One wrong step will be the end of me. And? And? And you didn't. I swallow nervously. Arkway peers right at me. Her eyes tell me that she's ready to pounce at the slightest movement. I don't... don't you think that's strange? Vlav is dead. So, then why is there still a vampire around? I know there's no point in even asking this, but did you? If this is your doing, I... <sighs> Come on, you've got to be kidding. That wasn't me. It was another vampire. She says... But, you know, plain as day. Arkwade interjects, slicing through the tension. He's like, well, that's good to know. There's another vampire? What? <laughs> there it is. A strange happiness wells up in my throat. But I shouldn't get my hopes up yet. It's great that there's another vampire, but there's still a couple of things that don't make sense. Are vampires so common that a new one would appear so soon after Vlav? Of course not. This was always the work of a single vampire. No new vampire is going to set up, shop, and finish what he started. Vlav was never connected to the killings in the first place. Vlad was never connected. What do you mean he was never connected? Exactly what I said. Jeez. I guess you've been too angry to pay attention. Sure, Vlav was a vampire, but did he drink human blood? We did. We did. Don't be pulling some weird shit on me where he says he doesn't. We saw him at the hotel with that lady. It was fucking plain his fucking day. We saw it. And there was that, uh, the chick, the, the, like, the random, like, like, teenager that we, that we were, like, the POV of. I don't know if he, well, technically, if you want to get technical about it, he didn't drink their blood. He was more like bathed in it, and he kind of, I don't know, maybe absorbed it through his skin. I don't know, but come on, you're not, don't fucking pull this shit on me, game. Of course he did. I saw him with my own eyes burning people to ash. So that's it. How did I not notice something so obvious? The bodies left behind the serial killer have been drained of blood, but they're otherwise unscathed. But Vlav was different. 
He burned his victims, drank their blood too, but draining them was never his modus operandi. Come to think of it, the, whole, the victims at the hotel weren't connected to serial murders. They were treated as casualties of a fire. Which means Vlav must not have any connections to the serial murders to begin with. Hold up, then who's behind the serial murders? Who's, who's, who's responsible for those killings? Like I said, that's the work of a different vampire. That's who I that's that's who I came here to kill. So wait, Vlob wasn't your original target? He just happened to be here and you're just like, yeah, kill him too. <laughs> The reason why Vlav came... Hmm... Things have gotten a little more complicated now. A lot more complicated. I was certain he was just after me. But I'm not sure. But now, but now I'm not sure. He didn't look like he had his wits end about him. And I doubt he was working with other dead apostles. All right, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We hit the two-hour mark. Oh, yeah, I, I'm done, man. I can't. My mouth and my brain are just not <laughs> up to speed with each other anymore, man. Then I just ran out of uh, water, too. But there we go, man. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, man. A nice little two hours to make up for, like, the two weeks that I haven't been uploading. Again, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, White Album. I will see you guys with some more Sukihime. Take care.